Here's a dragonfly that was collected today in a butterfly envelope. And now we are going to spread it. One of the darners in the family Eshnidae. Once again, like before, we are going to pin through the through the thorax, the first the prothorax specifically, at the anterior end of the body. And dragonflies, because their bodies are so flexible, you just need to be careful that you're basically getting it at the right position. Once again, we're not going to worry a whole lot about the legs, except for the front legs here. Get them down, hind legs, middle and hind legs kind of tucked in. We are now going to push this dragonfly down into the crack. And the toughest thing is getting the head positioned properly because their heads twist around really easily. I'm not going to worry about these little legs that are front legs that are tucked way up. The antennae on a dragonfly are extremely tiny. So once again, we will use wax paper, pieces of wax paper for each of the wings. Hold them in position. This time though, instead of the trailing edge of the front wing being perpendicular to the axis of the body, we'll actually make the leading edge of the hind wing perpendicular to the axis of the body. So we'll start by bringing that forewing up a little bit farther. Bring this up perpendicular. Position the other side in the same basic position. Now you can see the trailing, the leading edge of the hind wing is perpendicular to the axis of the body. So this is a properly mounted or properly spread dragonfly. Dragonfly abdomens are long and difficult to get to stay up, so you may have to prop them up with several different pins in several different places to prevent them from sagging. This one's got a nice little bend to it. There we go. So now we have the dragonfly once again flat and we have the leading edge of the hind wings is perpendicular to the axis of the body.